an easy weeknight dinner that can be on the table in 20 minutes. This is my way of making three salmon fillets stretched to feed four people. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. I do like to try and make sure we have fish at least a couple of times a week. And living in a fishing town, I'm always inspired to make new fish dishes. However, this is one of those recipes that we come back to time and time again. It's on our weekly recipe rotation. So let's get cooking. We're gonna start by boiling the pasta. Now I've got about 400 grams, which is about 14 ounces of rigatoni pasta here, but you can use whatever pasta shape you like. I've got a pan of water coming to the boil, and to that I'm gonna add the pasta and cook it as per the pack instructions. For the salmon, I've got three boneless salmon fillets here, which is about 400 grams or 14 ounces, and I'll easily feed my family of four. But you can scale this recipe up or down depending on how many people you're cooking for. Heat two tablespoons of olive oil in a large frying pan over a medium to high heat. Season the salmon pieces with quarter of a teaspoon each of salt and pepper and place in the pan skin side up. We're going to fry for three minutes until golden and then turn the salmon over. Now once that salmon is almost fully cooked through, we're going to move the salmon to one side of the pan and add a finely diced onion. Cook the onions, stirring occasionally for about three to four minutes until they're softened. Now stir in two minced cloves of garlic and cook for a further 30 seconds, stirring continuously. Next in goes 500 grams, which is about 17 and a half ounces of passata, plus a tablespoon of tomato puree or paste, half a teaspoon of dried thyme and one teaspoon of sugar. Stir everything together and allow that to simmer for two to three minutes. By now your pasta should be ready, so we're going to drain that pasta in a colander, reserving about a cup of the pasta cooking water. Now we're going to remove the skin from the salmon. Now I know some people like to have skin on the salmon, but we're going to be breaking this salmon up into chunks and then dispersing it through that lovely tomato sauce. Turn the salmon over in the frying pan and remove the skin using a set of tongs and discard. Now break that salmon up into lovely chunks. Stir in three tablespoons of double or heavy cream. Add the cooked pasta to the pan along with a splash of the reserved pasta cooking water to loosen up the sauce. Then stir the pasta into the sauce, distributing those pieces of salmon amongst the pasta. Divide the pasta between bowls and top with a little grated parmesan plus some black pepper and a sprinkling of fresh basil leaves. I absolutely love this dish. It's really simple to put together and it makes me feel really good about eating more fish. If like me, you love salmon, then you've got to try my honey garlic butter baked salmon. See you next time.